Well, there's quite a lot of improvement because if you look at it here, one of the major issues that we've had was the, uh, you know, the NERA devaluation that was actually, that has gone very aggressive up to about 1,900, but right now we're back to almost 1,250, 1,300, which is a good, uh, you know, reprieve. And uh, you can see quite a lot of uh, things have actually gone. Even people now, when you go to the market, for example, uh, something that will produce locally, like uh, a four or whatever, people will charge you more. Why? Because they are paying very high prices on diesel. And what we did, for example, in our refinery, we started selling even diesel at about 1,200 for 1,650. And I'm sure, you know, as we go along, things will continue to uh, improve quite a lot. What impact do you uh, think Nigeria should expect your refinery to make as uh, you begin to uh, disperse? Well, even now, it's a lot of impact. If you look at it now, when you are buying 1,650, 1,700 for a liter of diesel, and that one has been cut up by almost one third uh, to now be paying diesel at 1,200. And maybe eventually going forward, even though the crude prices are going up, even with that, I believe uh, you know uh, you know people will not get it uh, much higher than what it is today. 1,200, it might be even a little bit uh, lower. So, but that can help quite a lot because if you are transporting locally produced goods, rice and other stuff, you are paying 1,650. Now you are paying two thirds of that amount to 1,200. It's a lot of uh, difference. You know, people don't know that can actually help to bring inflation down immediately. And I'm sure when the inflation figures are out for the next month, you see that there's quite a lot of improvement in the uh, uh, inflation uh, you know, rate. So step at a time, and I'm sure you know, the bank, I mean the government is working around the clock to make sure that things get much better because it is in their, it is in their own interest. It's in the interest of everybody for Nigerians to get things better. Well, my own short measure is for us to now actually partner with the government and make sure that we better the life of the citizens of the country, you know, because it's like clapping, you can't clap with one hand. So both the entrepreneurs and the government, they need to clap together and make sure that it is in the best interest of everybody. Thank you so much. In the spirit of how we have been during both the Lent and Ramadan, Let's continue with that synergy of peace. Let's know that it's the only thing that can continue to strengthen and you know, hold us as a, as a nation. You know, let's continue to see that as you know, a rallying point you know, as people. And to say that indeed, um, some of the challenges that we, we witnessed at the beginning of the year, we're beginning to see even some ease, you know, even faster than we had expected. Uh, we're beginning to see um, our currency being um, 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 turned around. We're beginning to see some gradual ease you know, on economic pressure. We're not out completely yet, but we're beginning to see um, the ease of it. And um, we as leaders have to now even double up our effort um, to do the work faster and quicker so that the citizens can have that you know, um, ease that they all are craving for.